upon the ancient and has buried and has and has thou buried them. As thou very heaven they their yoke, and thou said, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou shalt that thou lay these things to thy heart. Neither is the remember, remember the latter end of it. So these are these, these higher ups. Pursuant to um Psalms, what is it? 149, I believe it is. They think that the houses shall continue forever. In other words, they think that this empire is going to continue forever and ever. They never considered it that maybe all of the wickedness that we've done, maybe we're going to pay for all this. They didn't even reconsider it, man. Okay, but they're going to realize that that we stripped up. That's what your bank is going to realize and all the way down to you. Um, regularly eat them out. You're going to realize that you don't screwed up. Beginning with the nation of Israel. Because I'm going to hit you with this. Now, this may sound very unbelievable, but I'm going to just say it anyway. The reason why you're going to have your thermonuclear war. Why? Because of the controversy, the controversy that the Lord has. Like the controversy of Zion. That's why. That's the reason why the Lord is setting this whole thing up. Because of the, the, um, the controversy of Zion, because of what the other nations have did unto the Lord's chosen people. That's the real reason. Now that's a now that's a secret, and it's something that can't be perceived. But that's the real reason why this, nu this nuclear war is going to take place. That's the reason why you're going to have all hell breaking loose in this system, such as an economic collapse on, on top of that. We're going to read Isaiah 40, uh, 47, um, verse 8. It says, Therefore, hear now this thou that are uh, given to pleasure, that brother carelessly, thou says in thine heart, I am and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Okay? And that's all I'm going to read from there. Now I'm going to go to, I think it's Isaiah 49, I believe it is. Isaiah 49. <laughs> There we are, right here. This is what I wanted to get, right here. This is uh, Jeremiah. I'm going to start from Jeremiah 49, verse 1. Concerning the Ammonites. Concerning the Ammonites, thus said the Lord, Have Israel no sons? Have you no higher? Why then do their king inherit the Most High? And his people dwell in his city. Now, when you look at the word Ammonite, when, when you check out who the Ammonites are, the ancient Ammonites, those people there, they're the ancient, um, those people there are actually the Japanese people today. They were the brother of Moab. So like the Ammon and Moab were sisters. Going all the way back to Lot. Lot had two daughters, okay, which was named Moab, the Moabites, which are the Chinese people today and the Ammonites which are the Japanese people today, and so forth. That's where the Ammonites are today. And it says, concerning the Ammonites, thus said the Lord, have Israel no son? Have we no hire? Why then do it their king inherit the most high? And his people dwelt in his cities. Therefore behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard and rabah of the Ammonites. And it shall be destined to keep and her daughters shall be burnt with fire, that's right. And then shall Israel be hired unto them that were in his hired said the Lord. Okay, so we're gonna have them as slaves after they get destroyed in the season of the Lord. All right, I wanna look up that word high real quick. I'm gonna have a look, look into that word. I like, I like to look up words, you know. No, I'm all right, man, I'm all right. You be all right, man. I don't, I don't shake hands anyway, that's not our custom. But you're all right though, you're all right. No. <laughs> you 
know what I mean? And that's just the thing, man. See, people, they know that the judgment's gonna come down the line. They know, they know judgment is gonna hit this freaking fight. That's why people, they wanna shake my hand. They wanna be cool with all of a sudden. Because they know that the truth is coming, man. They know what's happening, and the truth is, the truth is being sprung forth out. The prophecies, like my elders would say, is popping up like popcorn, and the destruction is coming every single day. There's different little destructions coming by and by every day. That's why people didn't want to smile in your face. Like if you notice, brothers, when you out there doing the work, you got certain Edomites, they want to shake your hand. They want to smile at you. They want to be cool with you. But they weren't cool with you 300, 400 years ago. And now all of a sudden, they want to be cool with you now. Okay, after they done destroyed the planet, destroyed everything down in, in, in its existence. I have to exaggerate that. Now all of a sudden, they want to shake your hand. They want to be cool with you all of a sudden. But it don't work like that, man. You can't just you can't bring so you can't do so much evil wickedness as a nation and expect to just walk off into the sunset. Like everything's gonna be hunky dory. Oh, we feel humanity now. We gotta come together now. After you don't took everybody else's crap. Don't work like that. That's not how nature works. Whatever you put out, you're gonna get, get it back in return. That's the only way. Anyway, going back to what, what I was reading. And while they're shaking your hands, brothers, guess what? They're killing millions of people over there in the Middle East. Showing you the damn hypocrisy of these devils, man. You know what I mean? So I want to go back to um, Jeremiah 49. We're going to go back to the book of Jeremiah 49. We're going to read a uh, verse on... Um, It says, therefore, behold, the day has come, said the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabah of the Ammonites. And it shall be desolate, it, sh it shall be a desolate heat. So like I said, I want to look up that word higher in Jeremiah uh, 49. I believe that that word there, higher, Jeremiah 49, because this phone ain't really working. Internet connections up over here. But I believe the word higher has something to do with being, being, you know, being, or uh, being a slave or something like that. Being a slave to that particular nation. But I, but I, but I, uh, I suggest you look the word up. Though. I won't take my word for it because I could be wrong. Look it up. So it says. This is um, Isaiah. We're going to go back to Jeremiah 49 now. Jeremiah 49, verse 2 says, Therefore, behold, the days come, say the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabah of the Ammonites, which the Ammonites are the Japanese people today. They're the ancient Ammonites. When you dissect the history. When you, die, when you go into what gods they believed in and what they were following, you find out that they are the Ammonites. So it says, it says, and it shall be desolate, it shall be a desolate heat, and her daughter shall be burnt with fire. Okay? 
then shall Israel be highest unto them that were his highest. And that has never happened in history. So that's going to happen. That's an event that is going to happen. Okay? And that's going to happen after this nuclear war. Because the Japanese are going to get involved in this nuclear war. And they're going to side with America in this war. Because America has their allies and the Russians have their allies. So it says, And then shall Israel be highest unto them that were his highest, said the Lord. And they're going to go right into captivity. And it says, How O Heshbon, for, for Ai is uh, spoiled, or I is spoiled, cry ye daughters of Rabah, girt ye selves to sackcloth, and lament and run to and fro by the hedge. For their king shall go into captivity, and his priests and his princes together. Okay? And it says, Wherefore, glory is thou in the valleys, that flowing valleys, O backsliding daughter, that trust in her treasures, saying, Who shall come unto me? Behold, I will bring a fear upon thee, said the Lord, power of hopes from all those that be about thee, and ye shall be driven out of every man right forth, and none shall gather him up that wandereth. And afterward, I will bring again the captivity of the children of Ammon, said the Lord. Now, we're going to get down to Esau now, the Edomites. Concerning Edom, thus said the Lord, of course, his wisdom is no more teeming. His counsel is perished from the prudent. Is there wisdom vanish? That's right. You know, the rulers that be, okay, that keep the society going, the wise men of Esau, they're now vanishing apart, man. No pictures, no pictures. No pictures. So that's what you're gonna have. You're gonna have the, the wise men of Esau. They're gonna vanish away. They're gonna go away. Okay, and this is where we're at right now. In the land of Esau, which is Great Britain and also other lands, which is the uh, uh, um, America as well. The wise men out of Esau is perishing. Because now what they're doing is, is they're doing everything contrary to the Heavenly Father and they're doing everything contrary to themselves at the same time. Passing these legislations to bring forth the New World Order agenda, which, uh, which is going to involve that, is going to be their own to their own destruction. But you know what's funny about it though? Because it's like, like the scripture says, it says that uh, the Lord his hands, or the Lord, he has his hands in the hearts of, uh, of, of the kings. So whatever these devils are doing, the Lord already got them in their, that mindset to put that thought in their mind to activate that destruction that they're going to put upon themselves. So I mean, you may say, well, that's stupid of them doing it. But at the same time, you got to go one deep. It's the Lord that's putting the spirit on them to do what they do. And making them um, stupid as well. This is uh, Jeremiah 49, verse um, 8, actually 7. It says, Concerning Edom, thus said the Lord of hosts, Is wisdom no more in teeming? His counsel is perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye and turn back, grow deep, O inhabitants of the damned. For I will bring the calamity of Esau. Now I've been out here for weeks on, 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 on weeks. Okay, I've been here time after time, week after week. So you should, everybody should know who Esau is. Who are the Edomites? Everybody should know that. So-called white people should know their biblical nationality. You should know that you're an Edomite. I know that I'm an Israelite and the likes. Okay. Just have a nice day, my man. I'm not, I'm not going to understand what you're saying. No, no. This is Jeremiah 49. What is it? This is Jeremiah 49. No, you can, you can, you can, you can back, go, go over there. If you want to learn, go over there. If you want to learn, you can go back over there. Like everybody else. Go you keep it moving. Just have a nice day. Have a nice day. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking this down for saying. Take care, man. Uh, this is Jeremiah 49, verse 1. Um, the only thing that could him, right, 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 right. that could him is for, is, uh, for This is Jeremiah 49, verse 1. Um,
Jeremiah 49, yeah. Yeah. verse um, 8. It says, Flee ye and turn back, grow deep on the habit of Edom. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him in the time that I will visit him. You know, and that's just the thing about it, man. Esau is desolate, as you just seen on the camera. Esau is laid desolate. You wouldn't have an Edomite looking like that 40 years ago, 70 years ago. Now, and they just walking around desolate. It's like I was up there in Wandsworth, man, and I saw one Edomite, okay, looking like how he just came out the coke as the stricken mountains. And he's um, eating out of the, 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 um, the bin. So that's the thing you know right there, man, that the condition or the st or, um the condition of Esau is, is being is just it, he's well, he's just going downhill, man. Alright, the state of Esau is going, the state of Esau is not looking too good. You know, you got these individuals, man, like they just came out of some Caucasus Mountain. Okay? Like they just came right directly from the Caucasus Mountains. Eating out, walking around with no shoes on their feet. Got this big ass bit on their face, which ain't nothing wrong with having a big ass bit. And they just looking desperate, eating out of um, eating out of the goddamn bin. So that shows you the state or the condition of Esau. That's why it tells you in the scriptures that the Lord is taking a staff to whip you. Because what is a staff useful? When you have a staff in your hand, you're leaning on the staff. So you, so let's say you're an old guy, right? And you're not using a staff, and you and your um, your whole body's tripping. You need a staff to stand on. So you can function, but if you don't have a stand, you're going to fall on the ground. So the Lord is taking the staff of the wicked. He's destroyed them already. Just look at the state of Esau, man. Look at the state of it. So it says, this is Jeremiah 49, uh, verse 9. It says, verse 8. Flee ye and turn back. Grow deep, O inhabitants of the God. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him in the time that I will visit him. If great gatherers come to thee, will they not leave some bleeding grapes? If these by night, they will destroy it till they have enough. And that's what Esau has left. Okay, that's the, that's the mindset. All right, that the so-called white man has. He's going to be able to destroy it, okay, until he has enough, until he feels satisfied. And that's what this New World Order agenda is all about because here it is, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, okay, they have everybody where they want them. Okay, they got everybody where they want them, but they still want more. They still want to bring more people into slavery. They want to go as far as putting chips on the people. Starting with Jay Rockefeller. Wants to put a chip in most people. All right? Because they want full total, top, um, total control. Your higher ups, your central bankers, they want total control. They want to gather as much as they can gather, all right, and give very little. That's the mindset of Esau, man, the top tide, the top tide of Esau. I'm not talking about your regular white person. I'm talking about these bankers, these upper echelon, these, um, these um, aristocrats. Their mindset is to take as much as possible and give very little. They'll even take from their own people. So that's how you know that this is talking about Esau, man. That's how you know that this Bible or Esau is referring to these upper echelon Edomite nations. Okay? Get out of here, man. Go to, yeah. Get out of here, man. What are you doing, man? Yo, put him straight. It's the street. I'm but you gonna, but you, but you, but you, if I did that to you, you wouldn't like that. And that's just the thing about it. See, what, see what's going to happen is, man, see, people like to play games and not silly, but they can do that all they want. Because at the end of the day, destruction is still going to come. And this ass is going to head right first into captivity. Okay, this house is gonna have right first in the captivity. You gonna destroy it too. This is Jeremiah 49, verse um, 10. I'm gonna read this whole thing, man. It says, But I have made Esau a bed, and I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself, and his seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy father and his children, and I will preserve them alive. Let thy widows trust in me. For thus said the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have a surely of drunken, and art thou hast that shall altogether go unpunished. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So the cup that we drunk, which is the slavery and all of that crap that we drink of, they're going to drink of the same cup. 
as it, as it tells you in Galatians the sixth chapter in the seventh verse. He that do a wrong shall receive the wrong which he have done. So all of the wrongdoings that these wicked nations have done, starting with Esau, they're going to get it ten times and ten times and more. And as you can see in 2016, you can see the state of Esau. Esau is not looking too good, man. They are not looking too good. They're rolling down the street, looking like they just came from some back, some, some back, some, um, back mountain somewhere. Some broken back mountain somewhere. They're not looking too good anymore, man, because the Lord is taking that power from them. The Lord is taking that, um, that ruling class mentality away from them and raising us up. That's what's happening. That's exactly what's happening, man. You know what I mean? Like when you go to New York City, you're gonna see Edomites walking down the street. Like they literally, like they literally just came out of the gutter. I'm telling you, man, and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm gonna show that you brothers have seen that. Even down here in this country, you can go to Waterloo Station where I'm at, or you can go to Oxford Street, and you may see some devil walking like he like he's on his luck. Like he's bad on his luck. You know what I mean? So Esau's through, man. Esau is fucking through. His kingdom is through. So it says, it, so it says, but I have made Esau a bed, and I have uncovered his secret places. And he should not be able to hide it, so let's jump down of this. It says, for I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation. So Basra is another, uh, another land of Esau, where the Edomites dwell. So Basra today, Great Britain, France, and all these different European nations or countries that they're dwelling in, or even America for that matter. The Lord said He was going to make Basra a desolation. And that's talking about the so called Europeans today, the Edomites. Basra is going to become a desolation. How is that going to happen? By the thermonuclear war. Even the Russians are going to be desolate too. But you got people, they want to act silly and they want to play around and jump in front of the camera because they ain't got nothing else to do. But meanwhile, destruction is coming on the verge. Okay? But you can play around all you want because the scriptures do say this. It does say, rejoice all you eat them. So you so-called Europeans, rejoice. Have a good time. Act silly. Do the best you can do. Live the best, live, live the best possible way you can. Okay? Because once this thing, once this society is through, it's through. It's not coming back no more. And after that, you will going to have to pick up that cup, which the Bible speaks about. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's the cup that you guys are going to drink. So for the time being, since you're in your rulership, act silly, okay, do foolishness, all right? And don't waste your time either. Don't come up here wasting your time. Because I'm not going to tell you anything that you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the truth about what's going to happen to you as a nation of people. So don't bother coming up here. Don't waste your time. All right? So it says, let's go back to Jeremiah 49 now. So it says, um, for I am sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual waste. That's all the states that Esau is in, all of the different places that Esau is in. It's going to become a desolation. And I'm pretty sure that all of you know that you're Edomites. You know that you're Edomites. I don't think I have to explain who the Edomites are. I think you should know by now that you're the Edomites. You see me come out here week after week. There's guys like myself throughout the four corners of the earth showing you who Esau is, revealing to you who Esau is. You should know that by now. But I'll say it again, the Edomites, if you read in the beginning of time in the book of Genesis, the 20th chapter, okay, those people are the so-called Europeans, the Edomites Esau. They are the biblical Edomites. All right, and they come out of their father and they Esau. So that's all I'm gonna say right there. And there's a lot of stuff that the nation of Edom are gonna face as I'm reading in Jeremiah 49 chapter. So it says, 
So it says, for I've sworn by myself, the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation and a reproach and a waste and a curse. And all the cities there are shall be a perpetual waste. Right? And it says, I've heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather you together, come against her and rise up to the battle. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen. And that's what it, I believe that's what it says in um, Job. The book of Job it says that. In Hebrew. Now that's what's going to happen. And that's already happening right now. It's not going to happen. It's already happening. So all of these other nations, they're starting to wake up. And they're starting to realize that these Europeans, man, they got to be the main devil that the Bible speaks of. They don't know that, what the Bible speaks of, but they know they're waking up to the fact that they're the evil people on the planet that the Lord has created. Okay, and they're waking up to that fact. The Lord says, And thy terror will have deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rocks, that holdest the height of the hill. Though thou shouldest, though, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, and that's another simple that you know that they gotta be the biblical Edomites. Because who is the who's the um who uses the eagle? Who uses the symbol as the eagle? The Greeks used it, the ancient Romans used it, and now you have the Americans using it. That's who's using the symbol of the eagle, the so-called European. That's their symbol is the eagle. That's why during our believers in 1969, they said that Plymouth, they said that we landed, they said that the, the eagle landed on the moon, which they didn't really go on no moon. That was all shenanigans and made up madness. Because in order for you to get up to the moon, you gotta go against those um, those Vanderbilts up there. Which is 6,000 pounds full of um, gravity. So that whole moon stuff is all madness. By them making it up to the moon is all madness. That didn't, that didn't even exist. Okay? But based on them saying that, it kind of fulfilled the prophecy. Because that's their mentality. Their mentality is that they're the most high. We don't need to believe in the most high because we are the most high. That's their mentality. But the Lord is going to bring them down with that same mentality. Okay? You know you're an Israelite? You got a question? This is gonna start happening. Now you could be you could be delivered out of this, but there's a way out of this. You, you gotta stop doing this. And the reason why you don't believe in the Bible is because you make excuses. You know, you was around the devil for a whole part of the time. And that's why you don't believe in the Bible, but what you gotta do, brother, you gotta come back to the Bible. Okay, because what you gotta find out is this Bible is your book, this is your history. You wanna talk about black history, read this Bible. Okay? Like I was saying before, now this Bible don't just only deal with our history, but it also deals with the law of sexual dynamics that we use Okay? And it also deals with the prophecies that we use right now. Now, what you have is you have thousands of jumps that we have to be sure 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 this right here, the military will take control of the civilians. Okay? This is what is going to get really done. Because what's going to happen is when they take control of the civilians, they're going to be able to control their people. And what people will say is going to be done. They're going to be able to control their people. Okay? So with martial law, there's a reason why you're going to be able to see that you have, that you're going to be able to see that you have, excuse me, freedom that you have. Where you able to walk into down the street, go to the store whenever you want, drive your car wherever you want, that's gonna be totally, that's gonna be totally out. Thank <laughs> you. 